Sharp and Chazo. Three, two, one, go! Corrin. Wow, I have not seen Sharp play Corrin before. But, am I surprised? No. Because <laughs> he plays whoever he wants. But I, uh, I wonder what Corrin specifically is like great for Sharp. In I think about it so in the far, same so way of like Byleth almost. It's just that you have the range and the tools to punish oh, right, Chazo okay, like it. so. I get, I get it now. Yeah, good choice, Sharp. <laughs> just literally force smash through all the blocks. Like literally just ignore it completely. <laughs> yeah, and it's a setup Chazo had there too. Like he had the blocks to avoid projectiles and force Sharp to go for a jump. But at that point, he left that one opening that you could just go for forward smash and literally poke through the barrier, no pun intended. Oh, wait. Um, we saw quite a bit of Corrin when, before Cosmos quit playing the game. Uh, when Corrin got that, that small, quote unquote, small bluff, his character actually became pretty solid. Yeah, Corrin is one of those characters that got a very meaningful buff that brings the character back into contention. But in the Wi-Fi saga of things, it will have to see more about the character offline than online because the online meta is still very strong for characters like Ness, Sonic, DDD, and of course, Chazo electing to go uh, Steve here. We'll see how things go. So far, man. Sharp is looking incredible with the corn right now. Corn definitely got this buff quite a few patches ago. I want to say it was still in the middle of us being online. And it's still really good for Corrin. I believe also Kirby got a buff as well in that same patch. Oh, good for the jump and trying to use up air. Seeing that Chazo also went oh for an aerial goodness. as well Brilliant. after the cart. Brilliant pin. Just yeah. hit him right out of the cart. And uh, I gotta say, this gameplay from Sharp's Corrin in this matchup, so good. So, like, well, I don't know well practiced, but like the... The idea of using Corrin here is just makes so much sense. Not only is like he has great juggling tools and dealing with Steve's poor landing outside of like his iron down air, uh, getting nullified. He has the range just cut through all of the, the blocks. Like, this is really nice for Sharp. Mm, really Might nice just get the three stock too. Oh, uh, look! Point. Look at most likely, man. Eighty-nine to one hundred twenty-five. Sharp on all three stocks. This okay. okay. Good punish from Chazo. He sees how Sharp has been really elective to go just jumping in this man's face. Why not punish him with an up smash when the hitbox start below the feet? All right, quick 46 here for Chazo, looking to mine more materials. You gotta watch out though, cause that block looking like it actually extends the hitbox for a duration of time. Back air, no, no hit yet. Yeah, Nice, the neutral B went through everything. Didn't even need to get the stun hit confirmed. He just, that chomp didn't care about the card at all. And uh, I, I like this corn pick. So good. You like this corn pick, man. I'm, I'm telling you, Sharp is, Sharp is picking R the right character. He is the counter pick master. He's so good at this that immediately the chat has put 99% chances of Sharp winning with Chazo at that very measly 1%. 6.5k channel points on Sharp, 69 channel points on Chazo. The chat says that there is going to be an upset. It's not with this one. I'm telling you that right now. With how terribly that match went, I wouldn't even be surprised if Chazo just goes DDD. Like, that's how dominant Sharp was with the corn in this Steve matchup. Yep, there it is. When in doubt, bring out your best character. Yeah, man. You might as well put your best shoes on and look your finest while you still got a chance here. This is best of five territory. So chazo has got a few opportunities to still bring this back. Let's see. Let's see. I still think Corrin definitely has a lot of tools against DD as well. It's just, he's so easy to juggle and cheat. G or he. I, I don't know why I always default to sheep for Corrin, but... Corrin, uh, it has so many good ways of just hitting back the Gordo too. You can already see how uh, confident that Sharp is playing in the matchup still with Corrin. Great punish on that. 
Yep, you definitely have the speed and the range with the pin to just get around the Gordo and just punish DDD for using that move. Juggle, yeah, man. Sharp really knows his combos with with Corrin. I'm very impressed. This is my first time seeing him play the character, but he makes it look like he's always been playing Corrin. <laughs> oh, might have snagged the jump here, but still can get to the ledge. Covers the roll with the down smash. Good for Chazo. He's he's a little bit more to take the stock. Yeah, this he's having a much easier time with DDD. Sharp almost on the grab with the Gordo immediately breaks those chances. Great play to go for Gordo yet again at the ledge. Gordo is so good for trapping opponents on the landings. Okay, Chazo going for the early kill with the jet hammer. At least he's doing a little bit better this stock for sure. Yeah, 117. Sharp looking for the opportunity to go for that back air. Second Whoa. attempt here. That'll do it. Chazo caught in the middle of an air dodge. That back air is incredibly strong. Yeah, and it's not that Chazo isn't a skilled player. Even in the offline scene strides, Chazo's actually able to upset Nico at a, at a tournament before. But Sharp is a whole different beast here with this core, and he kind of understands how strong this character can be now with the recent uh, patch that has happened quite a few patches ago. Oh, good opportunity to go for that dash attack. Oh, no, still living. Good DI from Sharp. Mm, okay. He's delaying his landing. Yeah, good play from Sharp. But the neutral getup will get caught by the Gordo. Sharp is trying to be as patient as possible, but Chazo knows that Gordo puts so much pressure, and the fourth throw is not a no Sharp with great DI and still able to land. Sharp has not been able to get to the right side of the stage or center stage in quite some time. Finally, Finally able to jump to center, but man, he took so much percent. Now he finds himself back in the same situation, except on the other side of the stage. Mm. Oh, still not dead. <laughs> 186, Chazo on 134. Looking for that final attempt with each Gordo, but it's not going to be enough. If you look at the spacing which Chazo throws Gordo, it's this perfect space that if Sharp were to go for a get-up attack, he will get punished for that. So that's still smart on Chazo's end. Okay, no cross up there after the, the pin. Double jump expended for the landing. I was gonna say, if I were, if I were Sharp, man, this might be time to use the Dragon Fang shot. Yep, and Sharp gets the stage control here. Chazo using the Gordo to try to make a comeback, looking for a forward air. Is there a punish? Oh, he could've, all right, all right, he still got it. I thought he was just gonna downbeat him uh, falling into the stage like that. I thought he was just used the counter, but he still got the punish easily. Uh, kind of just running circles around DV, if I'm being honest. Like, Sharp's barely getting hit, and most of his damage was from him getting less trapped by Gordo, and he didn't even die in that situation. Yeah. So. Do the character select screen? Does Chazo have a third character we don't know about? Oh, me, Brawler. Okay. Chazo's pulling out every character in his, his pocket to take this game from Sharp. Uh, so, yeah, we got the me, Brawler now? All right, all right. I don't know. I see the shot put, but I'm not sure what else he's using. Okay, I think that's the side B, the, the command grab. And he has the flip kick. Okay. Me, Brawler oh, is one of those characters that's... Oh, grab oh, reset? That's, 
That's Ooh. so big. 89% Chazo taking the lead here, getting a little bit of a break with this me brawler pick. This is one of those characters that even Larry Alert has talked about in the meta that he's one of those characters that's largely slept on alongside Sword uh, and Gunner as well. It's working wonders for Chazo so far. Yeah, 112. All right, Sharp with a double jump to get out of the shot, but here he has the neutral on the landing up air to catch the jump, but it's not enough. Sharp looking for a way to get in here on Chazo. Forward smash with a punish on that cross-up. Sharp is doing an excellent job just trying to hold center stage. He's not letting Chazo come back for free. That's a forward throw and shot put, yeah. This is gonna force Sharp to go for a direction of air dodge and when landing, he gets through. The thing about Sharp here is that Korn has a really good range to challenge me brawler so he doesn't have to really worry about you know not having a safe poke he has ways to get through and he reads the landing here with that immediate pin 142 here what started off really strong for Charles and was going really well for sharp yeah i'm constantly impressed with sharp's ability to like play at kill percent in such an evasive way <laughs> to where he can be losing but his opponent just can't get this binging blow in look we have situations set up for himself like this where suddenly he's with the stock lead and he's just continuing to just rack up all these, this pressure and damage. Yeah. Well, he oh. sees the desperation in Chazo now. He was able to read that spot dodge. Sorry, able to get the spot dodge on that down tilt and then punish Chazo for it as well with a, with a full jab. So it, it it's like sharp kind of reversals his opponent in terms of stage advantage. There's the flip kick though. I'm not sure what the meat roller one is called, but I just call it flip kick. <laughs> Uh, oh, the full pin here, yeah. All right, Chazo with the shot put, but this still gives Sharp time of the day to come back on the stage. Neutral air, second attempt here with the up air. Sharp with so much stage control, he almost corner carries his men off the stage. Down throw up air, oh no, helicopter kick. That would be good because helicopter kick is still a really strong move, even in ultimate. He's got a shot off the stage. Shot put is really good at calling those low recoveries. Oh, I thought that back air was coming. Oh, that cheeky up the attempt. He's not even going to get hard punished for it either, so I would say it's worth. Yeah, he's got a lead, you know. Why not try to go for something stylish while you get the chance? Oh, sharp on two empty hop attempts there. That was a great play. Pretty much forces Chazo to kind of respect being in the shield. All right, sharp with a little recovery pin to get back towards the stage. Stage control up tilt to try to call out the jump out of shield. No play, but there's the final pin to do it, and then it's gonna be all she wrote. Chazo losing to sharp 3-0. What a play. 3-0 with three separate characters. Sharp, man. He's just so good at this game. <laughs>